PTSD is directly associated with experiences of violence in all its forms, and there is an established relationship between PTSD and exposure to violent behavior among residents of inner cities. Inner city youth experience similar PTSD symptoms to war veterans who re-experience trauma because they have grown up in communities with high rates of violence. Because members of these communities understand that they live in dangerous neighborhoods, they mold their lives around the potential for experiencing violence and therefore exhibit PTSD symptoms as coping mechanisms. PTSD symptoms in urban youth generally fall in two major categories re-experiencing symptoms and hyperarousal symptoms. Re-experiencing symptoms specifically include having unwanted thoughts or bad dreams about the violent event, feeling or acting as if the event is about to happen again, and trouble falling or staying asleep. Hyperarousal symptoms include feeling grumpy, feeling jumpy, losing your temper, having a hard time paying attention, and constantly being on the lookout for possible dangers. Repeated exposure to violence, whether that be interpersonal violence or community violence, is a strong and probably obvious indicator, predictor of PTSD. But why is it so important to identify and treat PTSD, specifically in the context of violent injury? Because when PTSD goes undiagnosed and untreated, individuals who are regularly exposed to violence are at a higher risk of becoming violent perpetrators themselves. Key takeaways. Two major ways residents of underserved inner cities develop PTSD related to violence are experiencing traumatic injury personally and being exposed to community violence. Also, it is important to identify and treat PTSD in individuals who are regularly exposed to violence because they are at higher risk of becoming violent perpetrators themselves.